All right, here's something else in uh, SSIS that I didn't find to be uh, exactly intuitive. It's very simple once you kind of figure it out, but uh, it seems to always be a little tricky to figure out how it all works. But regardless, what the point here is, is we have a merge join. So that's going to basically pull things in um, and join them together, kind of like an almost like an inner join. So you see here the error is the input is not sorted. The input merge join left input must be sorted. The left here and the right here. So it's saying that this needs to be sorted. Well, if you look up here in my query, I'm sorting it. I'm ordering it by my ID. So why isn't it working? Well, this is just a SQL statement. Um, SSIS has no idea that it's sorted the way that it needs to be. So we need to go in here and right click it, advanced editor, and then we need to tell it that it's sorted. So we go in here to our input out parameters, our source output, and we double click this or select it from the drop down box, and we select true. So now it knows that it's sorted. So we get out of here. Well, now we look, we have an error up here. It says the is sorted property uh, of output, Olay DB source output, is set to true, but all of its output. Uh, has a sort key value of zero. So we've told it that it's sorted, but it has no idea what it's sorted on now. So we need to go back in here to the advanced editor, our input output parameters, open up the output, and go to our output columns, expand that, and I'm going to sort it by the ID column. So I'll go ahead right here in my sort key position and give that a one. Click OK. So now that error goes away, but this error is still here. So now it says the merge join right input must be sorted. So we know that's this side here. So we do the same thing, right click, show advanced editor, or actually we could just double click this one since it's the script transformation. Uh, we go in here to our inputs and outputs, and the same thing. Our output, we need to highlight that, tell it that it's sorted. Again, you see here, there's an error saying that it's sorted, but the sort keys are all zero. Let's go back into there. Inputs, outputs. Select our column that we want to match up with the ID that we sorted in the other one. Set that to one. So now it knows that the, there's only one sort key, and they're both. It's, it's an ID and a course ID, so it's going to join those together here, and it's going to join everything together on those. So we go in here to our transformation you can see here we've got a link with course ID and then down here we're gonna go ahead and merge those together so pay no attention to the logic here that I'm splitting it up and merging it back together that's just for an example but that's one of the biggest complaints about this merge join is that it really is it's not doing a true join it's everything has to be sorted on a certain column and then you kinda of map them together and then it just dumps everything into one one particular uh, source or destination, I should say. And uh, well, there you have it. Pretty simple once you get to know it, but it's a little painful once you're starting out.